is this? The Guardian. Made in the USA. Holy cow. What? The Night Stalker. Man, today is a good day. Kill. DPS Hawk. Oh man. Whoa man, check it out. Welcome back guys. In this video we're going to be talking about knife choices. If you've been with us for about a year you know we teamed up with TKL knives and created the Gideon series. We are in the process of doing a couple more collaborations with different style knives. One of the things that we've heard from our subscribers and um, supporters is that, you know, we love the Gideon, but it's not my style knife, which is awesome. So I wanted to take a couple minutes and kind of go over some of the other options that Tim uh, offers at TKL if it just suits you better overall. A little bit about Tim, he's a former Marine, he's a Christian, all the knives are American made and are made in-house. The quality and craftsmanship is hands down some of the best in the world. A little bit about the Gideon. The word Gideon means warrior or one who cuts down. I thought it was a good fitting for a great EDC blade, especially in consideration of what we stand for as protectors. Tim and his wife contacted me about a year ago and said, hey, we would like to send you a couple knives to see what you think about our products. And as soon as I opened the box, I knew I was gonna do a collaboration with them or I was gonna try. Prior to this, I had been contacting companies for about a year to find a company who would be interested in doing a collaboration and none could take it on due to already having so much, uh, you know, just being so overwhelmed with creating knives. We started putting pencil to paper and we came up with the V1. We had no idea of the overwhelming response that we were going to get with the Gideon so we only made 50 and that 50 sold out in about two weeks, which isn't good when we're talking about a knife being sold of this quality, but nonetheless, it far exceeded our expectations as far as even selling out. We didn't even believe that was going to happen. So after that, the Gideon became more popular and we could not recreate the V1. So we came out with the V2. What we did is we further fine-tuned this pick here, and we created the serrations where your thumb goes to help with a greater grip. The V2 is available still. And then after the V2 happened, we came out with the V3. I was like, man, you know what? I want something that is absolutely just disgustingly nasty. And this is where the V3 came in. And as you can see, the blade is curved. It's a double-edged blade. And the pick itself is just gnarly. It can do a lot of damage. And we could use it for breaking glass if we need to. But here is basically the V1 and the V2 versus the V3. So each has a special place with me. Um, I don't know which one I like the most. I carry the uh, V1 on my belt because this is the very first one that was actually made for me as a, a TNE. and But the V3 is remarkable as well. And there's a lot of uh, knives on the market you can get. You can get rubber ones, you can get wooden training knives, you can get aluminum knives. But we wanted to create something that was pretty much identical to the V1 and that way we can get some, I'll say more realistic repetitions in. So we came out with the Gideon uh, training knife. So you can get that on the website as well. So let's uh, take a dive into the knives that he just sent me. This one's new, it's called the DPS Hawk. Um, I love this blade. For me personally, and this is, uh, I'm not too fond of the Tonto style, but that's just my personal opinion. But overall, the length, the feel, the balance of the knife is remarkable. I guess I could put it in there right, it would help out. This is called the Combatant. 
fits well in your hand, can be concealed. Um, a lot of the knives actually are single-sided as far as being sharp. That way you can actually have it in uh, most states. There are a couple states that will not let you have a double-edged blade, but the combatant is just a really good EDC blade overall. So this one is the Bushman with the Warrior Grips. Now this is a really, really nice blade. I don't even know what I would use this one for, but it can be used for an EDC, it can be used for a field knife, it can definitely be used for defense. This is, if you look at the blades back in the 80s and the 70s and stuff, this is a very similar style blade, very nice. So this one is the Night Huntsman, and I don't know why this is probably one of my favorites. It's more like a little meat cleaver. Um, it could be used for self-defense, everyday carry. It could be used for, if you are if you like those videos on the internet where they're out in the bush and they're chopping all their vegetables and stuff up, cooking out in the wild, that would be an awesome little knife to have. The Guardian is definitely a blade to be reckoned with. Three sides are sharpened, and the thickness of this blade, man, it could handle some serious tension. If you were to cut something with a blade like this, it is going to create a gaping wound just based on the thickness and the angle of the blade itself. So that's a, that is a piece of steel right there. The Raider with wood grain. Now this is also a, uh, more of a my style blade right here. Good for everyday EDC. Could be a little uh, field knife. I do like the color pattern of those grips for sure. The Piranha. This could be a little get off me knife. This could go inside your vehicle. This could go inside of a purse. That one actually would not be my uh, choice for fighting. <laughs> obviously, or self-defense, but it definitely has its uh, purposes. The Night Stalker. So the Night Stalker is actually the design that we created the Gideon off on, um, but what you'll see is the Night Stalker is a uh, single-sided blade. It's one of those that you could carry in the states that will not allow you to have a double-edged blade, but overall, the profile of this knife is basically the Gideon V1 and Gideon V2. Now this one is the nightshade. The nightshade comes with a buckle or a belt clip, excuse me, or it comes with a chain for a necklace. This is also a fairly thick and steep angled blade like the Guardian. This would be a, a very good quick uh, get off me knife, especially around your neck. Get it off and go to work. This one is the striker, the striker with the grit handles. Now this one, man, I actually like a lot. Well, I like them all, but this is more of my style on blade overall. I do like that handle. The Mercenary. The Mercenary is definitely one of my favorites. Overall, it is a really, really good profile. Um, can be used for field knife. It could be used for defense, depending on your body type. A little, little bigger than something that I would want to carry, but it's definitely a knife that I would want in case something were to happen in our country to where I was having to use a knife every single day, whether it be cutting, chopping, you know, stripping, defense whatever, but phenomenal blade. Now he also sent me a bunch of different handles that I can choose from as far as the color patterns. Uh, me, I'm more of a bland style person, more of a tactical color, but if you are one of those people who like to flaunt your stuff, man, he's got some awesome color patterns to choose from. When we're talking about steel types, I'm not gonna go really in depth on that, but there's two aspects I look for, rust and how long 
the uh, steel will hold an edge, okay? Meaning how durable is it? When we're looking at a stainless steel blade, all right, stainless steel is not gonna rust, but also stainless steel is not gonna hold an edge such as an ADCRV2 steel, which is the opposite. ADCRV2 steel is not protected in a manner that stainless steel is, but it holds its edge much longer. So what Tim did is he came out with this idea of nickel boron coating. As you can see, everything black here will not rust. The only parts that will rust is where the metal or steel is exposed and it's shiny. And no matter what knife you have, unless it's a stainless steel, these are things that you're going to run into. If you live in humid areas or you get it wet, it's no different than a gun and going to the gun range. You need to come home, you need to wipe it down, you need to you know, take care of it because you truly believe this is going to potentially be a life-saving tool or a tool that you know I'm going to use on a regular basis. So if you are interested in a new blade outside of the Gideon, Check out the link in the description and head over to TKL Knives website and get you one. You guys have a good day and God bless.